I would say to you, the lawsuit has merit. And so let me step back for people, not that I want to give them a legal education on your podcast, but let me just explain this to you. If I am a regulator and I make a decision, you're going to have a Bitcoin futures ETF, and but you're not going to have a cash ETF. Okay. I have to be able to explain that to a judge. If, I, if, if you now bring a lawsuit against me, there are regulations here in the United States that say the regulator cannot be arbitrary and capricious in their decision-making related to the regulation. So forcing a lawsuit, now the SEC has to go before a judge and say, well, this is okay. Here are the reasons why. This is not okay. Here are the reasons why. And I think there's going to be a lot of hypocrisy and logical inconsistencies with what they're saying because they're both tied to cash Bitcoin, right? You know that, I know that. So therefore, how could there really be that big of a difference? So I think what's going to end up happening is a coin toss of whether or not the SEC can win that lawsuit. Okay, so what I think ends up happening is what you said in Canada, we move towards the lawsuit and then then the SEC takes an off-ramp and they approve one of these Bitcoin ETFs. And so you will get a Bitcoin ETF in the United States because the system still from a judicial perspective is fair, I think, and still reasonably balanced. 